So I was giving a popsicle enrichment to our ring-tailed lemurs. Um, they're from Madagascar, so they're pretty used to this heat, but a little bit extra to just cool them off is always helpful. So the popsicles I made today are strawberry jam mixture. And so it's just a little bit of strawberry jam and water, but it has no extra sugar. It's just strawberries. And then a um, pear and applesauce puree that's just kind of mixed in again with a little bit of water just so it can hold together. I'm really glad that they came out. We made them extra sweet, hoping that they definitely would. So the sweeter, the better. They definitely love their fruits. Um, but sometimes they don't. So if we had done like, sometimes we do a bobbing for apples kind of enrichment, but lemurs don't like water. So that's why we have like a moat around their enclosure because they won't hop over the water. So anything that's floating, they probably won't interact with as much. So it's a little bit harder to get them to kind of, yeah, be a part of the enrichment. Um, but anything that's super sweet, like craisins and all that, they absolutely go nuts for. So that's definitely much more likely to come in. They get what's called like a leaf eater biscuit. So it's like a compound biscuits, almost like cookies. And they has a little bit of the extra greenery in mixed in, but a little bit easier to eat. Then they also get uh, what you would usually find in your probably your own fridge. So lots of lettuce or carrot tops. Um, sometimes we also give them uh, cabbage as a little bit extra treat and then lots of vegetables. So their favorite, absolute favorite is sweet potato and then carrots and beets peppers, anything that's a little bit sweeter. They're not as big of a fan of their green vegetables, just like most of us are, um, but they will take some cucumbers and a zucchini and stuff every once in a while too. They're pretty used to the heat. Madagascar is definitely a tropical area, so they're used to a little extra sunshine and a little extra humidity. Um, so they're a little bit more used to it than some of our other animals here at the zoo, um, but still doesn't mean that they don't feel the heat and that they can't use that little extra cool off every once in a while.